Good morning, YouTube family. Good morning. <laughs> we miss y'all. I didn't videotape yesterday because we were so busy and have been busy. Leon has been busy all morning. I've been busy too, watering and taking care of the animals. We hope everyone is having a wonderful, today is June the 1st, and I want to show you the sugar that we have in the cabinet, so I'm going to show you right now. This is the sugar that we have in the kitchen cabinet, and there is six bags in there, right? Yeah. Six 10-pound bags. Also in the stock pantry, we have two five-gallon buckets. We have one right here in the red bucket and then one in the white bucket. You can't see the word, but I'm going to point to it. So today, we have a few errands to run. We have to go pick up Leon's medication from Walgreens. And also, we have to go run to Walmart. I want to check out the sugar prices. I've had about three or four people on our YouTube community warning that sugar prices are going to go up because I'll put up some um, headlines right here. There, uh, Brazil, I believe it was, a couple of countries are going to be uh, holding back their sugar, in other words. And so, because of some ethanol issues of making the sugar, I'm not quite sure. I did not go into any deep research. I just grabbed some headlines for you guys. So, Leon and I are going to go check the prices out of the sugar and uh, perhaps pick up some more. It's going to be left up to Leon. We have enough sugar, but if the prices rise, and sugar gets very, very expensive. We use a lot of sugar. I make jam, constantly making Leon's tea. Of course, everyone knows you cook with it. Sugar is also a preservative. So we're gonna go see what Walmart has, and we thought we would take y'all along with us. I also wanted to say that Louie and Stylo and River got their hooks done yesterday. Our friend, uh, who is a police officer, JJ, I think y'all know him, came and did their hooks. And I took a small clip right here that I'm going to show you. I just recorded from the porch because I didn't want to make, I wasn't quite sure how Louie was going to um, react. So we had the back horseshoes taken off of Louie's um, hooves. And he had his front horseshoes replaced. He has new ones on there. Because Louie is not going to be riding in a rodeo or anything, so he doesn't need his back horseshoes. And then... Plus, uh, JJ recommended him not to have the back ones on due to the fact that if you ride them on the road, he said they could slip and fall. Right. So, right. So when we eventually go trail riding with our horses, they do not need the back horseshoes, is what we're told. So we really trust our friend JJ. So we're totally going to listen to him. And by the way, they are getting along perfect. Leon finished the back fence. I will show you on the new paddock. We're still going to put Louie in there while Leon's gone to work, but um, I will only put him in there when I'm working with him, and then he will be able to go and be with Stylo and River. All right, so I think we're going to go to the tractor supply place as hey guys, well. Guys, we are getting a P.O. box. <laughs> Just letting y'all know that we will have a P.O. box now. So excited. So yes, we're getting a P.O. box because someone was asking um, if we had one because they wanted to send us a card. So we are getting one today. Okay, you guys. 1523 Philadelphia, Mississippi is our post office. I'm sorry. I am so excited because I have never had a post office before. Leon has, but I haven't. So it's very exciting to me. So, if you want to be my pen pal, we can be pen pals. I love writing. All right, so we're going to go to the co-op right now and then Walmart.
That's nice. That's nice. Leon was laughing at me when I... <laughs> yeah, he was laughing at me, y'all. Um... <laughs> These are reversible animals. So it's a penguin, I think. And then you turn it, turn it around. And then the, the lion or the tiger is on the other side. Too cute. Two dollars. Right along. Here you have your honey. This is where I get a lot of my honey. And you have molasses. The molasses. I don't see a price the small honey and then of course you have the dots pretzels $6.99 for the dots pretzels I'm gonna go down here and see if they have chickens oh here's the um the ready to hang shade sales $49.95 this is what I got seems like I paid a little less for mine last year but um yeah here's the shade the shade sales so I made some um, fly spray for the horses, but we're going to check to see if they have any gallons of concentrate where we can mix it. So that's what we're doing now. Back on Catman's thing, I didn't see. So it's twenty two ninety five, and how much does that make? He said you only use like so many. This right here. Oh, I this see. This right here. That full. That full to like that nineteen ounce bottle spray bottle you have. Okay. Have. Okay, so we got the horses uh, concentrated fly spray. I'm gonna go in the garden section. This is the shoes that I wear, y'all. The waterproof sloggers. I have two pair of these that I've been wearing, and they are really comfortable, and they are waterproof. This is the new Yeti, where the handle is already built on there. And then this is the smaller coffee cup. I have a, a large one. I have one of those. I am not getting one today. So let's go to the garden section. Okay, so I'm going to the garden section. And I am trying to go slow, you guys. Um, here's, you know I'm going to get distracted by everything. This is the ball drawer lids. I don't need any. Oh, and look at the wind chimes. I think I've showed y'all before. They are beautiful. Okay, so here is the garden section. So I'm going to go out here and see, since I'm not transplanting any of my tomatoes, we have other containers that I can uh, put vegetables in. So that's what I'm doing. So these are Better Boy tomatoes. Right here. I'm just kind of looking around. This is Early Girl tomatoes right here. This is the other section. And I think this is just the flowers, which are still so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I can always do a flower pot. <laughs> that would be pretty. By the horse stable. There's a choo-choo train. looking over here in this section to see okay so the chairs are 179 I guess for one uh, not that I'm getting any I was just showing y'all a price um everything looks like it needs to be watered all right so let me go back in okay so I really wanted to use those containers for um, vegetables oh I didn't look over here okay I'm sorry you guys I was going I guess too fast that's straight neck squash right there here's some eggplant so I think I'm gonna get some eggplant I don't know how much they are you plant them 36 inches apart so it's, it's called black beauty eggplant so um probably get one of those 
And this is cucumbers. We only have one cucumber, so I may go on and get some more of these. So you plant them eight to 10 inches apart. So I might be able to stick this into a container right there. So I'll get some of these right there. And then over here, ooh, some more, this is uh, some more sweet pepper, California Wonder. So I probably, mm, let me think y'all. So big, this is called Big Bertha. So this is the California bell pepper. So I wanna get some bell pepper because we only have one bell pepper. So I'm gonna get another bell pepper. Oh my goodness, look at these ghost peppers. We definitely do not want ghost peppers. This is a cow horn. Um, no, don't want any more peppers. So I think I'm going to get some big boy tomatoes. So I think that's all I'm gonna get. So. The big boy tomatoes, uh, this is what I have. I'll show you whenever I go to plant them. So pretty. So that's a, oh, that's a 12 pound bag of Vidala onions. A 10 pound bag for $12. That's not bad. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, we are almost at Walmart. I'm just showing you gas prices. $4.19 there. And then at Walmart, it is $4.12. Um, 414. I'm sorry. At Walmart, it is 414. The gas prices. As we are at Walmart. Ooh, watermelon is 688. to get some tomatoes. Ours have not come out yet. They're growing. How much? That's showing a dollar seventy-eight. So they're a dollar seventy-eight? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so these are two ninety-eight. These right here. All right. So that's the first thing we've got. Tomatoes. 178 a pound. Hmm. Okay, we didn't really come here for that, but um, Leon wants some salad. Um, they're a dollar 48 for the 12 ounce. You can get a pineapple for two dollars and eight cents each. A pineapple. Uh, the green onions, I don't see a price on the green onions anymore. A bag of celery is $2.98 for a bag of celery. I guess that's not bad. We get a bag of green, we get these, our friend gives us those. Okay, so the bananas are 58 cents a pound and Leon wants to get a, a little bit of them. That's good. Maya likes them too. Okay, we came here for sugar, but I just want to let you know that um, the meat looks okay. You're always going to have your gaps. Um, it looks like there's plenty. The prices are probably high. I'm not going to go over there. I'm just looking around. A little, still a little low on their peanut butter. And a little low on their peanut butter still. Okay, so apple cider vinegar, the great value is $5.14, and I'm going to get a gallon. Let's see, it is one gallon. 
some potted meat, some more potted meat. He likes his potted meat. You want enough bread? Um, okay, so the, the green beans are 58 cents. The great value green beans. Okay, so here is the sugar. The 25 pound bag is $13.12. It used to be $12 or something, but that's still not too bad. The five pound bag is five twenty seven. The the ten pound is five sixty. And um the people are getting but they're getting in this area. Sorry you guys. This is ten pound. There's two different prices. There's a five twenty seven there and then there's five sixty here, so I'm not quite sure. Got a 25 pound bag. So we are going to get 50 pounds of sugar. There we go. Here's the flour while we're at it. We're not getting any, I'm just showing you the flour. Um, looks like they condensed just a little bit, but there is some. Here is the oil. Okay, so I am going to be making washing powder, and um, let me look at one thing. So I have some of this at home. I don't see the uh, pink soap. I already have the pink soap at home. But you would need one box of the laundry booster. It's four dollars and seventeen cents. You would need a box of the borax, and some people use um, the baking soda. I don't remember if I used the baking soda or this. I'm not quite sure. I have it at home so okay so I'm going to get a box of the borax and this because I have some at home and I'll show you when I get home okay we're gonna check out the baby formula here this is your baby formula uh, shelves there's only a few you have your infamil don't know what this is um, you have some Similac not any holly at all. So Leon pointed out that there is a limitation on the baby formula of what you can get. All right, so we got our sugar, apple cider vinegar, our washing powder, and we just got to get a few more items, and then we're headed home. So I'm looking over here at the butter. That's six ninety-eight for butter. Six ninety-eight. Wow. We was gonna get some dip, four ninety eight. This one's three ninety eight. This one's three ninety eight. The uh, ranch dip four ninety eight. The French dip is four ninety eight. So we're gonna make our own. We're gonna make our own uh, dip. So you can get a this a simple bag of onions for four ninety eight. We're not getting it. Prices are going up. We're just gonna get a bag of Doritos and a bag of these because we're gonna make our own dip at home. Okay, so there is plenty of milk. Um, the great value whole milk is 236, the uh, 2%, it's still, it's 236. So there's plenty of milk. Let me check the eggs out real quick. So I'm gonna go over here. The eggs are a little low. So, uh, they're okay, but they do have some gaps in the eggs. I'm trying not to go fast, but there is a lot of people in the store, y'all. Little Debbie, Star Crunch, not even the big one. The little box is two fifty nine. But we are going to get some. Uh, Leon got some apple pies. We'd like to have snacks. We haven't got snacks in a while. And you guys know I've got to have my chocolate. <laughs> well, Leon loves these boogles. This is the family size. It has... It's a lot in there. Um, 14 ounces for three fifty three. That's not bad. So we're going to get a bag. <laughs> okay, we... I had to get my hair color, y'all. We got the dogs some treats. And, um... 
I got some baby wipes. This is for Louie. I got something else for Louie, too. Oh, you got that. Okay. And um, this is for Louie. So, I got some Band-Aids. And uh, Leon some vitamins, I think I mentioned. So, we're about to check out. Okay, you guys, um, this really wasn't maybe a prepping video. It's just we wanted to get some more sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Prep. <laughs> and um, so we're going to load up the car and then we're going to head home. And then I'm going to show you how I make my homemade washing powder. So we're in line getting our medication and um, there is a shortage. Leon went inside and waited and waited. Now we're in the line. <laughs> There's only a couple of workers in there. They have a shortage of employees. So I just went in the back, grabbed our bugles. He got us a Sprite, and we're just sitting here relaxing, waiting in line. Let me show you. I'm all about relaxing. Leon's fit to be tied, but there ain't nothing you can do about it. If they have a shortage of employees, they do, even at the pharmacy. So I don't think we're going to be filming Leon anymore today. He is fit to be tied. We waited in line. By the time he went inside and waited, and then we had to go around and wait in line because it was just a line inside. We've been here for over an hour at Walgreens in our city. So we got our medication. He got his medication because y'all know he had to have um, some, um, what does he say? cholesterol medication and um they gave him the wrong medication they accidentally filled a medication that he was taking uh, when he got had his heart issue about a year ago almost a year ago and they gave him the wrong medication so he had to go back in and he's not sure they'll take it back it was not cheap and so he is fit to be tied so we'll see <laughs> if i'll be able to film him the rest of the day you just fit to be tied? Oh, yeah. I'm fit to be tied. But the medication they gave you is for next month, huh? So you need it anyway. No, it, it's not this month. I would have had to probably get it. I just had that medication filled two weeks ago. So now you don't have to have that certain one filled next month, right? No, and hopefully that's the last time I got to get it filled because I got a doctor's appointment in July. And hopefully I'll get off on that. All right. What'd she say? She said that she is literally about to quit. And that's the uh, the pharmaceutical yeah, person. Yeah, that's the pharmaceutical person. She says she has to do the take the prescriptions, fill them out, fill them, fill the bottles, bag them, and now she's waiting on customers to get the medicine. And some medicine she said they don't even have. Wow. People's in uproar. We spent an hour there today. Yeah, that's what I told them. But that was that wasn't just a worker. That was the pharmaceutical yeah. person. She said that she was sorry and yeah, everything. Yeah, she, she apologized for me having to wait and come back in there and get it right. But she said she is literally about to quit. Wow. So people are literally stressed. I mean, there's shortages of workers, even in the pharmaceutical place at Walmart. The woman with the white coat on, I don't, the, I don't know exactly what you call her. She wasn't a cashier. She was the doctor type person. Is literally told Leon she's about to quit. Well, she's the pharmaceutical. She's the pharmaceutical. Yeah. That's what it's called. Okay, I'm sorry. And um, it's just it is stressful times for people right now because there's not enough workers. And they can't get to some of the medicines because they was telling some people they may get some in Thursday and it, they don't really know. So there's some people there. For, uh, to get their medicine and Leon heard them tell the person they may get some in Thursday. So it, well, it's was, very scary if you well, need... They, if, was having, they was having problems getting medication. Yeah, they're having problems. Some of the medication. Right. So it's very scary if you take medication and then you go up there to get it filled and they say that they cannot get it in and maybe they will get it in at a certain date. That is very scary. So...
I'm glad Leon was able to get his and he's okay. So we are on our way home. Okay, you guys, this is my laundry room. So here is <laughs> um, just product, okay? And I wanted to show you, this is where I keep my laundry soap in this drawer. I have two, I have three drawers down there and I have it stacked. So this is the product that I have stored. Yes, the super washing powder and the borax. So that's why I bought two more of these boxes because that's all I have. But I have plenty of Zotes soap and this is the Fels Napa. This is to remove stains. So I'm gonna take one Zote. Some people use two, I use one. I've seen a lot of people use only one. Let me put this back. Okay, so Leon's fixing to warm the horses. Okay, I am on the ground. I took my the drawer out, and I wanted to explain something to. I wanted to explain something to you. You need need a glove. This borax right here can be a little irritating because it is concentrate, and you don't want to breathe it too much. Okay, and so um, let's. Okay, I have to do it on the floor because I have no upper body strength. So, I bought this old um, cheese grater for this purpose. This is a tablespoon, is as how much you're supposed to use per load. And I put like two or three loads in my washing machine because I have a large washing machine. So, I just use this to grab some, okay? Mine probably would have lasted longer if I would have been a little bit more conservative, but... Sometimes you think that it doesn't, you know, it is concentrated and it's, your brain cannot wrap around how concentrated it is, so you tend to use more. So what I do is I take the Zotes, and this is old timers. Oh, this is how old timers used to do. So what you do is you just grate up your cheap, your, <laughs> your uh, soap, like this. Okay. Let me bring y'all down a little closer. I'm just using the big grating part, the large. You see, it comes out in these chunks like this. Once you put the powder in there, it's not going to stick, you know, it'll keep it from sticking together. So you'll get a little bit of this in with every scoop of your powder. So let me get this grated. got it all braided. So let me show you. This is the uh the soap. Okay. Then you open up your laundry booster. Let me get it open. Okay, so you pour your laundry booster in. All of it. booster is not I've touched it before I've mixed it up with my hand before it's the borax you have to it could be very irritating the borax so just mix that in it's so pretty this this uh, pink so oh, the other one wasn't pink so then you open up your board. Some people will wear a mask. I, I don't. I just, I'm going to pour it in there very gently. So you open up your borax. Okay, see how much more powdery it could be? It could be a little, little bit more powdery. See the 
powder going everywhere. I like flour. That's why people wear a mask. But I'm far above it. Okay, and then you want to mix it in just like this. Okay. You're going to get a little soap with every scoop. So a normal one load scoop looks like this. Okay. And I typically do it like this. So there's your soap. <laughs> and this, they say this lasts for, um, I don't know if it's use two boxes of borax and two boxes of the other and it lasts for a year but um the last time i made this i showed it on youtube and um it's i still had a little left over and i wasn't really using it like you know you're supposed to i was adding a little bit more but um i think this time i'm going to follow the directions and know that this right here is concentrated it's not like your everyday washing powder that you buy in the store this right here, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so what I do, excuse my product, I haven't not put it up. Alright, so what I do is I just put it back in my, in the drawer right there. And then whenever I want to go use it, I just pull it out. I grab some, my little, I'll get my little container, put it back in here. Or, and then I just bring it over to the washing machine. Okay? And then I just put it back in there. I don't even think I took the plants out of the car. We've been busy since we got back home. But I'm about to go ahead and let y'all go. Oh, he took the plants out. Where'd he put them? Um, hold on. Where'd he put them? <laughs> let me see. Our new plants is what I'm looking for. Okay, he said the plants are on the porch. Let's say hey to the ladies since I walked all the way out here. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. They didn't have any little chicks at the uh, co-op. All right, so he put the plants on the porch. I didn't see them on the porch. While I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all our new squash. So, I was out here this morning. I got stung by a bee. Um, there's a new one right there and look at that one's blooming let's see okay so that one is really getting out there so they are just really getting out there. okay I'm gonna show you the plants on the porch and I hope everyone has a wonderful afternoon I still have a lot of chores to do I love you guys thank you so much for watching our videos and we will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.